Ryan Hernandez's former colleagues in McAllen say they are absolutely shocked by his death. The couple had been together for some time and seemed incredibly happy. They bought the San Antonio home recently where their bodies were found. 25-year-old Valdemar Hernandez was an up-and-coming realtor at Coldwell Banker La Mansión in McAllen for about a year under the direction of broker Betty Garza. She knew him better as... JR. JR is Valdemar. We call him JR. That's how, what he goes by. In November, Valdemar or JR left the company looking for bigger opportunities out of the valley. Garza tells us he and 39-year-old Eric Flork, both boyfriend and business partner, bought a house and moved to San Antonio. Saturday, the couple was discovered dead inside that very home. It's very sad. It's, it's, it's heart-wrenching. It's hard to believe um, because... He was an awesome person. It was neighbors who discovered the lifeless couple in their bed, reports state, after their garage door had been unusually left open for days. New details from the San Antonio Police Department indicate Flork as the suspect and Hernandez as the victim, hence the possible murder-suicide. The report also states that a handgun was recovered from the scene. A neighbor told police she had heard two gunshots but thought nothing of it at the time. Anything that would have indicated anything like this ever happening to either of them? Never. Never. They were both fine people. It, that's why this is very hard to understand. Garza tells us the couple traveled often since Flork was a pilot and adds that Hernandez seemed very happy in his relationship as he was in all other aspects of his life. Always happy. Um, always had a smile on his face. A very, very positive person. A big heart. And um, that's how we'll always remember him. We went looking for a family of both men at their last known addresses, but we had no luck. Garza does tell us that Hernandez is survived by his mother and a younger sister. San Antonio police would not say if their bodies have been released to family. In the studio, Daisy Barrera, Action 4 News.